In this tutorial, I will teach you how to make this special stiffeners in Lobotin shoes. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and click the bell button to be notified when my new video will come out. So, let's start. Learn how to make shoes with my step-by-step -step video courses. Now, let's take a look on these beautiful Louboutin shoes that I made from paper pattern. The secret number one, how to create these shoes with this bad element, that they will look great, is to create correct pattern that will fit perfectly the shoe last. That means that you will not have any loose sides on your shoes. You see, even uh, this pattern made from paper but it fits perfectly the shoe last so you see the sound that means that the sideline fits uh, lays tightly on the shoe last this is number one the secret number two is that the stiffeners the inner part inner reinforcement that we have between upper and lining must arrive almost until half of the shoe because without stiffeners or with short stiffeners without stiffeners you can make palm shoes with so short stiffeners that maybe will lay until this place uh, this part will not look so great and will not repeat the exact shape that we created on our paper pattern on our carpet pattern okay also the shape of these stiffeners must repeat the shape that we have here on the upper pattern. So usually when we create our simple pump shoes, for example, this is the pattern of the simple pump, our stiffeners has stiffener uh, has the shape like this. It repeats this top line and goes round with rounded shape till the bottom edge. So if you have this kind of line, sideline, back line, your stiffeners mark, must repeat this line. Okay? So in a minute I will explain how to make these stiffeners. I forgot to mention one important thing. If you will create, if you will want to create this wave-like shape uh, of your back part of the shoes, like Louboutin shoes, don't make this wave close too close to the central line. So don't make it here because here we need to have enough space to to hold our feet with stiffeners that we will place between upper and lining. So approximately this distance is about five centimeters, four point five five centimeters from the central line. Okay, this is one. Second, don't make this wave-like line too low. You see, it maybe seems is like too low, but this pattern is without insoles. Inside of our upper and lining, we'll, we place also insoles, not inside, on the shoe bottom, and we will last our upper and lining on the, on the top of the insole. So imagine that here will be also insole with a thickness of approximately one centimeter. So we, we will get here this height of the side line and it's okay, okay? So this V shape or wave shape of the side line must be lower from the, our original simple side line, not more than one centimeter, okay? So how to make the stiffeners that will hold our upper? So before we will move on to create pattern of the stiffeners, we need to mark the edge of the stiffeners on our basic pattern. So this is basic pattern with this element on the sideline. And as I told you, the end of the stiffeners will be almost in the middle of the, the in the middle of entire length of this pattern. So do it approximately by eyes. And starting from this line when it connected with the sideline 
original sideline you can make this kind of curved line until the edge and it's almost half this distance is almost half of the entire length of our paper pattern uh, cardboard pattern okay now also you see there is a difference between in the there is a difference between um, sideline in outer side this is outer side and inner side in the inner side is always higher so let's transfer this line to the inner side I will make it more visible so I repeat the marks left from the knife to see them here and I will draw this line of the stiffeners on the inner side of the pattern and now let's copy each part of the stiffeners apart because there is a difference between these two parts. We start from the inner, uh, from the outer side. I can bend pattern here like this, that it will not bother me. Leave enough space to the out in the other side of your carpet pattern, because here we will place our stiffeners of the inner side. Actually, no. Let's do it like this. Let's hold, let's bend our pattern like this and we will um, transfer both lines right away so just copy the outlines of each side this is the line of the inner side now I need to copy the line of the outer side including the this edge of the stiffeners that we drew on the cardboard pattern so when you will make stiffeners with this shape it will keep this beautiful line of of the upper and it will hold your feet and will stay with this, this shape forever, okay? That's why we should make the stiffeners like this. Okay. So here I have two lines. And the edge of the stiffeners. Maybe you can see from this distance, but when you will transfer it with the tip of the knife, you will see the marks left from the knife on your cardboard. Now let's complete this line too. And we'll make them identical in this part. Okay? It's a one cut stiffener that includes inner, outer side and out, inner, outer side and inner side. So how to do it? We need to find the, the middle of this line. So measure the distance between two edges and divide it on half, mark a point, then connect the top edge of the pattern with the middle of this back line and make a line. Okay? Now we will bend our stiffeners fold the pattern along this line. So to fold the cardboard, score cardboard, cut here to fold it. And now I will transfer this line of the side line, the line of the outer, uh, inner side.
This line will continue with the smooth line. Now let's open it. And through these marks that I left on the cardboard, I drew the line. Now, right now I will cut the edge, then I will reduce it because the stiffness, the edge of the stiffener is shorter than the edge of the upper. Now here I will cut following the line of the outer side. So I repeat it again when the shape of the stiffness repeat the shape of the upper, uh, the edge of the upper will not bend, will not fall, it will stay firm during wearing the shoes. Okay, so we're almost done. What we need to do is to shorten the edge of our lasting allowance. It's shorter on few millimeters than the lasting allowance of upper. It depends on how much you added for elastic. I reduce it on 8 millimeters. It can be reduced less or more. I repeat, it depends on lasting allowance that you added to your upper. And let's cut it out, but we need to mark the part of the inner part of our pattern with the V mark here. because there is a difference between two lines, two thought lines, side lines. Also pay attention that here in this part we have straight line without any angles. So if you will get results like this, like this, it's not correct. For example, here the center line and you will have this kind of line it's not correct okay so it must be almost straight or with small inclination in this upon the, the top okay so this is the stiffeners for this Labutin shape like shoes with this wave design on the back side on the side side and this is how it will hold the shape of this interesting wave and will stay firm on your feet, okay? That's it.